original is called American Gothic, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it was in the town of the Depression. I thought, well, if if I could just take this really sad and depressed time and put my since my favorite color is pink and and it is, it's a joyful color, I want to take that that thing and put it in a depressed time. So my personality is still there in a very sad time. That's awesome. That's awesome. What what made you? Um, come up with something like this and want to, want to do something like this. You're so amazing. Well, I thought um, at five, it kind of in my like, uh, late five, almost six, um, I thought, well, you know, I, I've, I've been through my toddler uh, phase, so I want to do something to help the world and change the world. I started in the garage and I started my first painting called Equator and I just started getting bigger and my parents would put some acrylic and a paint and a little canvas in front of me and I just, I'd make something out of that white canvas. Painting is like breathing to me. That's what I love. Do you think what you do, anyone else can do? Yes, anyone can do it. I mean, you just have to put your your heart into it, and uh, and, and uh, everyone has the ability to do this. I need one more. <laughs> 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 Well, this painting I was inspired by Andy Warhol, and I loved his ideas about art. Autumn DeForest describes beautiful works of art that some art critics say are on the level of a young Monet or Degas. Her vivid grown-up descriptions are captivating. The heart symbolizes what I want to do for the world, for charity, and for other people. But what's more amazing is that at 11 years old, she painted these masterpieces. She actually started in what she calls her later fives. I started just taking a little, little canvas, a little stain. I just started, and I realized how uh, how fun it was. My grandmother gave me a little Barbie from Seven Year Itch of Marilyn Monroe. DeForest, who spoke before a crowd of Benjamin School elementary students this afternoon, was the youngest artist ever featured at the National Art Education Association's annual convention. In 25 years, I have not seen a child prodigy who has her own vision, who has such an incredible insight about the world, and also has the ability to show us her vision. Her message to Benjamin students was simple. Find something you like to do and love it.